eateries we spoke with today said that they're already getting a lot of questions from customers about whether their dining rooms are open or how they're complying with the governor's executive orders that actually don't have that much to do with restaurants. But it's that uncertainty that restaurants are now saying could lead to a lack of business. We need to keep that unique flair of Utah's restaurant community. We need to save and keep afloat as many restaurants as we can. That's why people come here. The governor's new executive order speaks very little about restaurants. Restaurants will comply with this like they have with all of the other guidance. And but for Melva Sign, the CEO of the Utah Restaurant Association, she says it could have a big impact on revenue. I think it will set the industry back for at least amount, an amount of time until people feel that it's comfortable and safe. The reason? Well, the new executive order has people worried and asking, is it safe to dine out? It's safer to eat in a restaurant than perhaps at home. We sanitize, we clean, we distance, we wear masks. When you come in here, you don't have to worry about it already because we took those measures to try to stay a step ahead. For Samantha Kirk, general manager at Cheddarburger. And there's some people that literally makes their day just to come in here and get some good food. That part of it is really gratifying for me. She is already seeing a slight drop off in customers. The revenue part is really scary with being such a small business and we are local too. So like everything that happens within Salt Lake specifically really does affect us. As restaurants across the state now deal with a new wave of apprehension over dining out, striking a balance is more important now than ever. Now financial assistance as we move into colder weather is going to be absolutely necessary for us to keep our unique flavor. I think people are just afraid, so it's just kind of figuring out that happy spot in the middle. The Utah Restaurant Association is saying that they are hoping to procure more PPE through grants for some of those restaurants that maybe haven't been under a mask mandate in different parts of the state to maybe help customers and employees. They're also saying that they hope that this apprehension is short-lived. In Salt Lake City, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.